All right. <clears throat> Let's check this out here. So the only thing you haven't done, you say here that you haven't spit up the shot. That's totally fine. I've probably done the same thing. Uh, back, back legs are better. But on the turn, I still feel a bit rushed. I'm afraid they're going to look even faster. I want to speed up the whole shot. All right, back legs on turn. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, more complexity to the head and break up even the timing and pose after core. All right, all right, let's see. All right, let me just look at the back legs. Whoa. Yeah, it's interesting. The back legs are so much better. Just be careful shape-wise. I'm not sure how much control you have. Careful how much you dip down here. You have just that section here that dips down. I'll kind of reduce that a tiny bit because it makes it a bit too loose. And you dip down and then go straight back up like this and that <clears throat> that shape here feels a bit broken actually i'm gonna zoom in here um because it gives you that type of look so if you could just reduce that to stay within something like this it might be you know it might not be enough what it should do during a foot roll but just visually to camera, that just feels too broken. So I would just uh, rotate this guy back. And you can go to something like that. You know, it's even though that is pretty straight, like, you, obviously you can't have a fully rounded shape, but that feels a bit better. If that's your maximum compared to this, this just feels too broken. And let's bring this back. Sort of. Very cool though, fantastic tweaks. Yeah, I love the other ones. Yeah, it's really cool. And it's funny how the foot fixes and everything actually helps with the speed too. And the breakup of your head is also fantastic. I love the ups and downs. It's really cool. So much better, the, the jaw stuff helps. Maybe little ear things. Actually, that ear thing could be about two frames faster. Their ear flakes are pretty fast in real life. Just a tiny bit faster. Tail stuff is great. Watch out. I'm being super picky. Watch out that tip. There's a little pause right there. Here, it feels like it's stuck in in screen space boop and then it continues to move i would have some continuous roll see like uh, the whole thing goes up and a bit this way so you could have during this section it could either curl back down as a counter move or you could see the tip coming out here um just watch out that it doesn't feel like it's stuck here in space you know and the tricky thing is <clears throat> because you made the adjustment before the 10 percent but now the adjustment, the speed looks good, like the head moves and everything looks great. So yes, if you would speed it up, I think that would be now a problem. Uh, hold on, that wasn't that one. That's too fast anyway. Yeah, it's too fast. The thing that I still like about the speed up is that. And well, of course now it's tricky because now it's to me, it's just about this. This drop could be just ever so slightly faster. It's great. Let's go back to uh, 100%. Good here, the head's good here. Probably what you could do is make that boom, just a bit less. I think that just with a, maybe like a slight little a sideways rotation, a bit of a tilt, and probably maybe 20% less 
down like that. That just feels a bit too much. Boom. It's also a bit soft. That's the only thing I would say. Reduce that a tiny bit and maybe take a frame or two out of this moment. Just a bit sharper. Boom. That's just a tiny bit soft there. Maybe too slow. It's really good though. So the backdrop is really good. Boom. That feels great. Yeah. So the only thing, the only thing that bugs me is a couple of frames faster here. And it's even just, maybe it could be the spacing towards the end just to feel that acceleration. And to make sure that once you do that, to not um, counter that whole weight, you got to make that impact on the head a tiny bit sharper and not go as much. Because everything looks great. And then suddenly I'm feeling, mm, this is just a tad too light. And then the head comes in and like, mm, that feels too CG with a really nice home impact drag overlap type of thing that feels a bit too cg yep that's it so good love it that's the only thing thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you